Hello everyone, Tyrrell here, and we're here with another Tyrrell Talk. Before we get started, I just want to apologize for not being able to upload. And I gotta thank you for all sticking with me, even though I can't even upload one video a day. And for anyone who's wondering what the problem is, this should be inside my computer, but it's not because it's not working. I got a new one coming on the way. It should be here hopefully Monday or Tuesday, and before anyone bothers putting in the comments, I just sprained my wrist, it's no big deal. So, I want to get started, and what I want to talk about today is the problem with in-game purchases. Now, for some games like Clash of Clans, it's perfectly fine. Now, there are some issues with Clash of Clans, which I'll touch on later, but for now, let's just leave it at Clash of Clans is fine the way it is. It's a freemium game, and that's the way it's supposed to be. So... What I want to talk about is the fact that because of Clash of Clans' success with Freemium, you're seeing so many games that are just trying to copy it, trying to copy their success, and destroying their game in the process. Now, there's a lot of games like that. The first one I saw start doing that was actually RuneScape. They introduced Rune Coins. You spend real money, and you can get outfits, you can get gear, you can get special auras, you can get boosts. You can get a whole number of things like titles and crap for real money. Now that that doesn't really make sense. This game was always a uh, free game. You get a small area and like 27 quests. Just a sort of a teaser. And some people just play only that. And they're fine. And then you pay, you know, five bucks a month. It's gone up to like seven or eight bucks a month now. No big deal. It's a tiny amount of money. Seven, seven, eight bucks a month is tiny. And you get a whole huge expanse of world. A lot of people have problems with RuneScape. This is the graphics and the gameplay. It's, in my opinion, once you get into it and know what you're doing, it's a fun game. And I will continually come back to it even if I don't play it as much as I used to. So, the problem is they added rune coins. And now you have this incentive to spend even more money for useless items in game and... I know I'm not one to talk about it because I've done it myself. I have titles and I have special outfits and crap like that. So I can't really condemn anyone for doing it. But, again, it's not the right thing. It's a subscription game. Maybe raise the subscription to 10 bucks a month and have a different way to earn these things because that's against how the game started and how it should be. They've just noticed that these in-game purchases have been getting people more money. And then you have other games like the uh, copiers of Clash of Clans. They always try to copy it. Even if some people say certain things like Plunder Pirates may be better, they're never going to be more successful than Clash of Clans. And they're just another money sink for all the players who want to find something different than Clash of Clans. But in the end, they're just going to come back to Clash of Clans. They're going to spend money on both, and now they're going to be out of money. In reality, they're just trying to copy the success of Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans did it in a way that I'm going to talk about at the very end, which I don't necessarily agree with. But next, we're going to touch on some things like uh, World of Warcraft. You can now instantly boost your character to the maximum level for $60. What the hell? The whole point of that game, the game was known in the beginning for leveling, for its questing, and now... Now it's just one button and your credit card out and you're the maximum level oh don't worry you want to jump into end game stuff LFR looking for raid just my god you literally can just buy the game spend sixty dollars and then press one button click one thing and be doing the end game raid what the hell defeats the whole thing that the whole foundation that the game was built on for money and you can buy mounts and you can buy pets you used to have to like go to blizzcon and get a special code to get a super awesome pet you had to fly across the goddamn country to get a pet now it's 20 bucks now as a person who collects things like pets sure this is more convenient for me but i'd rather have to go to blizzcon and have something that you know only a thousand other people have or something like that I'd, I'd rather have to buy a plane ticket, get into BlizzCon to get a mount or a pet, than to spend money on it. Although I think they do offer uh, 
Do they offer the Tyrael pet? <laughs> For money, I may have to buy that, just purely because of the name. But now it's time to come around to talk about Clash of Clans. There's a lot of other games I could talk about. Feel free to post them down below in the comments. Ow, my wrist. But I don't have a lot of time, so I want to go ahead and talk to you about Clash of Clans. Now, Clash of Clans is a freemium game. It's free, and you choose to spend money if you want. So, in that respect, it's fine that they charge money. Now, are the prices a little too high? You know, over $12,000 to go from zero to a max base? Yeah, that's kind of high. You could buy a relatively unused used car for $12,000. Like, literally driven once for $12,000. So, you're spending that on a game. Obviously... There's going to be some people in the comments, yes, there's people out there with like 12 maxed out bases. Yeah, they have the money to do that, and that's fine. If they want to spend $140,000 on a game, I'm not going to tell them not to. Sure, it pays for, it for me to play for free. So, I can't complain about that, but what it is, is the uh, people that don't understand. It's the people that gem their Town Hall 10 to the max level before they've even upgraded their other stuff. The people that gem the wrong things, they, people that gem a lot, then realize how much they've spent and they can't do anything about it. And then, last but not least, there's been news articles on this. There's, I've been on the forums for God knows how long, and the one thing I see that just recurring, besides the loot threads, the loot threads are always there, is there's always going to be some guy, at least once a month, who posts, my kid spent X thousands of dollars. My kid, kid spent three thousand dollars on the game before I could shut off my credit card. What do I do? You're shit out of luck. Because there's no way to stop these kids from spending it. So obviously, as soon as you download Clash of Clans, there has to be some sort of warning like, if you do not want your child to spend money, turn off your credit card now and be forever inconvenienced whenever you want to buy something on iTunes. You know, there's an age restriction of 13 on Clash of Clans. So obviously, a lot of younger players out there. But, I mean, 13-year-olds still don't know better than to spend $500 of their parents' money on a game. And then they quit the next friggin' day. I mean, come on. There has to be something. And the problem is, it's conditioning the people to spend. I didn't realize this until I created my second account. While I was going through the tutorial... The little arrow, you know that little arrow? That little arrow when you try and attack and have no troops? Well, it appears over the gem this button. The gem button. And of course, it's always worth one gem because you want them to think it's actually cheap, not $12,000. So, it just bounces over it and won't go away until either it completes on its own, which a lot of new players are too impatient for, even though they're only waiting, you know, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, whatever, they're too impatient to wait for it, so they'll click it, think, oh, it's only one gem, but literally this obnoxious arrow just blinks and blinks and blinks until it's done, so you just want to hit that button, it's actually conditioning new players to gem, it's getting it in their mind, this green button is your friend, green button may be your friend, but it's not your wallet's friend, so, that being said, it's kind of poisoned our youth. I read this one story, it's, I'll just refer to it as a green text story, and it was about this one guy who let his younger sibling, his younger cousin, play Dark Souls. The kid kept dying, he lost all the souls, and he came to the older, sib the older, I guess, cousin, and he said, hey, can I borrow your credit card? I want to buy more souls. For anyone who's played Dark Souls, let that sink in for a second. This kid has been conditioned by app games and other games that are copying that freemium format for... He just wants to skip the game. He thinks he can do that with any game. He just wants the I win button. That's what our youth is being conditioned to. I don't play a game where I can skip. I don't skip games. 
Obviously, I did boost a character in World of Warcraft to level 90, just purely because I don't have the time. I have done it without boosting. So I actually was able to experience. So, even though I did skip it, I did experience it through another character. So that's not like I'm skipping the whole story. I don't play a game unless the story would be worth reading if it were a book, if it has a campaign or storyline, obviously Clash of Clans doesn't have that, but things like World of Warcraft, RuneScape, Halo, Guild Wars, I guess, a bunch of other things. There are books written about these things. Hell, Halo has a book called The Flood that is literally just Halo 1 written in a book, exactly from the beginning of the campaign to the end of the campaign, and it's a good read. That's what I look for in a game. I don't want to skip that. That's why I play. I don't want to skip over the fun. I don't want to be there and be done already and have nothing to do. So I feel like for freemium games, it's if it's affordable, if there's warnings, then it's fine. Like if Clash of Clans actually had warnings for the parents when they download this game, it's fine. People would stop co trying to copy it. They're trying to copy it, and they're ruining their games. They're ruining the integrity of their games and the integrity of their company. Just money-grabbing. I'm getting fed up with it. I'm so tired of seeing, hey, spend 20 bucks on this subscription game on the computer, and you get X or Y, or you get X and Y if you spend $30. What? That's not how you play the game. You play the game, you earn your things, you have fun doing it. That's the whole point of the game, is to play it. And now we're being conditioned to throw our wallets at them for free things so we can get where we think we should be, where we want to be. We're, we want to get to the end game before the game. And I'm sorry for uh, going on a minor rant here. You may be hearing more rants from me in the future. But I just wanted to get that off my chest. And I want to hear what you guys think about all these freemium games, these in-app and in-game purchases on all platforms. So go ahead and post that below and post whatever you truly think. I will not tell you you're wrong because it's purely opinion. So now last but not least, Let's go ahead and see who our winner for Clan Wars was, our Wars with Friends winner. This week is Dog Runner 832 clan name Doramus Dynasty. So, I'll be showing up at your clan before this even uploads. And again, please bear with me while this comes in the mail. We'll be back up to two or more uploads a day as soon as it comes. And for anyone who's curious, I am ordering, or while well, I have already ordered, a Sabertooth, an Asus Sabertooth as the motherboard, and for my new CPU, just in case my one was damaged, even though it doesn't appear to be damaged, I have also ordered a Haswell 4790 4.0 gigahertz quad core. It's their latest line, and it looks good, and it's supposed to be good for games. And so for anyone who didn't understand all that technical crap, basically new motherboard and hard, uh, not hard drive, sorry. I'm staring at a hard drive right now. Uh, new motherboard and new CPU coming in the mail. And I'll be back up to full speed, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. Again, thank you for watching. Cheerio out. Got a job. Come on.